So let's take a look at what a definition of enumeration looks like. So I'm going to start off with a um, an arbitrary enumeration. How about let's do a simple um, how about, oh, well, I had this example all in my head. I know exactly what it's going to do, but naming sometimes escapes me. So let's go ahead and give it a numeration of thing. That's not a very good thing. Um, how about extended Boolean? There we go. And extended Boolean is going to have three things inside of it. Mm, those are going to be about true, false, and no value. Now in C-sharp, this isn't actually the best way to express a Boolean like this, but it is, is a very easy example to comprehend. What we're looking at is an enumeration definition. This definition, it's important to note its location. It's inside of the class program, which is perfectly allowed in C-sharp. You can put types inside of classes, but it's outside of the main method. Now we wouldn't be allowed to define our enumeration inside of the main method. So what's going on here? Well, we start off with a keyword, we put in an identifier, and we open up a curly. Again, that's a very simple, <laughs> that, that happens a lot in C-sharp. This syntax looks very similar to maybe, maybe like an if statement or a switch or even what we have up here in line three. So it's a very common pattern in C-sharp syntax. By saying enum, uh, enum is short for enumeration. And in case if anybody has heard the term enumerable by now, um, an enumeration is very different from an enumerable. They're not the same thing. In enumeration, this enum keyword defines a type. And the way that we describe the enumeration type to the compiler is that within our curly braces, we give it a comma separated list of uh, identifiers. And that's it. This code is not executable code. It doesn't do anything. In fact, you, you might even notice ReSharper um, darkening my definition of this enumeration because it's telling me, well, this actually doesn't do anything. So let's make it do something. Now that we've created our extended Boolean enumeration, I can create variables using that type. And I can create as many variables as I want that use this type. So I can say extended Boolean um, ex bool one and extended Boolean ex bool two. So now you see an example of me using this type twice within a method. And what I'm doing here is I'm defining two variables, both that are of type extended Boolean. Now remember, extended Boolean is not something that comes from .NET or C Sharp or anything like that. It's something that we've put in custom um, to meet whatever needs that we're trying to meet. So now that I have two extended Boolean variables of this type, it's important to note their constraints because an enumeration is all about providing a set, if you're familiar with, with math, it's providing a set of possible values. And a Boolean or a enumeration variable of this type may only ever be one of these three variables. So let's see what that looks like. I can say exbool equals extended Boolean dot false, or I can say exbool2 equals extended Boolean true. I can also test for equality. For example, I could say if exbool1 equals no value, then tell the user that it uh, there was no value. 99% of the time, you're going to be using enumerations in this capacity. And what I mean by that is, is the assignment operator will allow you to assign a, a enumeration expression to our variable, uh, an enumeration constant rather to our variable, and an equality operator will be able to tell us if our particular variable has a particular value. So the thing about enumerations, again, is that, that these variables can over, only ever contain these constants. So enumerations are really nothing more than providing a set of constants to typically describe some sort of state 